second uh, weekly drawing retrospective um, and this second week wasn't so uh, fruitful uh, I'm starting off here with Monday which uh, I uh, drew a character from another story which is kind of separate from what I'm uh, kind of working right now and I'm kind of trying to concentrate <coughs> most of my efforts on uh, my name is Jinx you can find the finished picture uh, on my DeviantArt I'm gonna post a link in the description so um, yeah they really had <coughs> that much inspiration on Monday it was pretty um, kind of gridlock on ideas so uh, I said okay I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna draw this because for the main comic that I'm doing now um, um, I want to have like every idea has to be good and I don't really want to uh, have things that I don't like further on so I gotta think them through although I did I did get to do some work and uh, <coughs> when the video gets to it I'm gonna I'm gonna actually say it so uh, yeah here I'm working on the arms I didn't I don't really do like complicated positions like crossed arms or crossed legs or so it was a bit of a you know a tackle um, I'm kind of looking to do when I'm making characters for comics when I'm sketching them out to kind of get a, a, an idea of how they will look and when I'm kind of you know taking reference from an older design I had I'm, I'm trying to kind of stay away from what I did in the past and was basically I used to have this character template that I made it was you know just a bare bones front view or a three-quarter view from the front from the back and an occasional side view or something I'm trying to stay away from those and basically make more dynamic poses and uh, to kind of get a feel of the character so you know with Jinx here uh, she's like uh, she handles paperwork in the comic She's not the super main character, but you know, she's lively, you know, she's happy and whatnot. Uh, and I'm kind of trying to, you know, capture that here with the, uh, you know, this walk scene. And, uh, yeah, basically, because making characters and templates, I've, I've noticed uh, sometimes you, I mean, obviously making them on a sterile template like they're all the same it's obviously not going to capture uh what they're about and uh, maybe let's say they have like a feature you want to you want to show more so it's it's pretty important and again with the shading i didn't really go too wild kind of kept it simple i'm still I didn't really yet to do what i said previously and that is uh experiment even more and even more in depth with the soft shading of you know the skin and uh, uh, you know hard shadows on the clothes and this is Tuesday I think and because uh, I actually don't really remember and actually I don't remember what this drawing was <laughs> so we'll see in Oh, oh yeah actually I think this was no yes it, it was Tuesday so uh, just uh, <coughs> this is gonna turn out just to be a random sketch cuz uh, when I got home from work I was like okay I gotta I gotta start drawing so I said okay I'm just gonna do like a random thing just do another you know draw another chick and I decided you know make it a bit more um, um, put make a scene, you know, make an entire scene with a character. So I said, okay, she's gonna be like on a sort of a, a shoreline, 
things, um, smoking a cigar, and uh, she is uh, going to be some sort of a, you know, streetcar driver, and she's going to have the, the, the uniform, and wind is going to blow in her hair, and uh, her hat is going to, you know, be taken away by the wind, but she doesn't really care, because it's all, you know, dramatic and whatnot. Uh, I kind of liked, you know, how this came out, but what I didn't really like was the background. <coughs> it feels very sloppy, and, you know, you're gonna see it. it's gonna turn out pretty sloppy. Uh, but all in all, uh, again, this was done for, uh, I mean, I made it with the intention of, okay, I'm gonna make, like, a, a little scene to kind of get an idea of how things are in uh, the comic where Jinx is like because that idea it's pretty big I have like written stuff about like I would say the first issue or something but it's gonna take a lot more time to get to than uh, with what I'm doing now so yeah here I'm putting the background in nothing too special uh, I wanted to basically fit some buildings and for them to kind of take the most of the the space but I didn't really go too far with the details and I left the lines pretty faded away excuse me uh, so I think this one's gonna end pretty soon uh, I was thinking of maybe putting some colors or eliminating the background but decided to just leave it there and here uh, I think I'm not, I have an idea what I'm doing here but it seems to not start just yet I think I was just tweaking the settings a little bit um, hmm. yeah I started off drawing some some faces some heads uh, trying to search for an idea of what to actually draw and uh, uh, I wasn't really happy with any of them so basically I had to sketch a few until I got uh, one from an angle uh, at first I kind of wanted you know the, like how the one on the left is but uh, I didn't really like that so I said, okay, let's, let's change the angle a little bit, make it a, make it a little bit more comfortable for me. I was, I was pretty tired out. I didn't really want to, you know, uh, go to the effort of, like, sculpting, you know, what I wanted. So, after this sketch, the final one actually starts, and I start to finish that, and it's basically another character. I then, in a very short, comic sequence uh, it's about four pages long it's uh, she's cool Admiral Nirvana and uh, you, you're gonna see what she is in a moment she's kind of like a space elf chick very curvy uh, very fluid you know uh, can I you know with her she, she was very spontaneous as a character when I, when I got the idea in my head uh, I kind of wanted you know <clears throat> obviously I took some inspiration from heavy metal magazine and all the contrast uh, you had there so yeah you know I'm, I'm sketching it out it, it went, the sketch went pretty fast because I had reference and I kind of knew what I, what I wanted to do and it's very nice when you make like you know simple characters and that's why I'm trying to you know keep keep the rest simple as well so uh, I'm basically you know defining the outlines here you know getting the lines more thick and uh, closed so I can fill it up with color and I think I'm just gonna do that yeah right here and it was what was a bit tricky was that um, well I could have just opened the comic page I had 
and taking the skin tone from there but I decided no I'm, I'm just gonna try to eyeball it <coughs> and it didn't really work that well in the beginning although hmm, I might tweak her, her skin tone a little bit more of course it's just a duel you know nothing nothing final nothing super set in stone uh, there are some things that feel incomplete on her and uh, if I am if I am to you know have her like looking like this in the comic she's gonna have to be very developed as a character because I don't really want to have her just as uh, fan service or eye candy because uh, that'd be a bit weak <laughs> and I, I want to be you know more to her than uh, than meets the eye, so to speak. And now I think we switch to Wednesday. And uh, here I'm drawing. Oh, yeah, this is. Uh, I started off with uh, Francine, which is part of the story. I mean, she's from the same comic, uh, Jinx is. Uh, and yeah, uh, I didn't. <coughs> she's a character I made um, very many years ago, and uh, you know I didn't really draw her for for a while. Although I did sketch her once in a while to you know <coughs> kind of modify and adjust things I didn't like, and uh, I decided to you know okay let's let's have a shot of what uh, what she would look now, 2018. And uh, I really like how how this character, uh, you know, sheet sketch whatever, came out. It's it's, it's pretty good. It, it I can really use it for reference in the future because I, I really like how everything came out. And uh, there's not really much to say about it right now, you know, because everything kind of does sound a bit weird. Uh, being spoken just like this so I'm gonna talk a little bit about the process of what I've done so far and uh, as you might have seen obviously my process is pretty simple I start off with the head and then I continue downwards with the rest of the body although <coughs> this depends this really depends on what you really want to do and from what I've seen, if you really want to do a, uh, let's say, pinup and really emphasize on a particular part of the body, uh, you usually start off with that part of the body. And you put that in, you know, your foreground, so to speak. And you work from there on, on onwards. Uh, but here I'm not really trying to uh, do a particular part or pinup. Uh, so I, I start pretty simply and you know crudely with the head and you know work your way uh, outward uh, so a uh, little <coughs> nothing I want to mention is uh, the colors uh, were a bit of a hassle for some time to kind of what to pick and eventually I decided on uh, something simple and I knew I wanted her to wear blue and but I'm, I'm still not not sure if it's gonna be leather or I don't know just some sort of cloth although leather seems you know pretty pretty cool because it's shiny has a lot of highlights and yeah here I'm going back uh, to a spot that I missed with the colors applying shadows pretty fast and this was working pretty well because I kind of had an idea of what I wanted to do when I don't really have an idea what I want to do things go pretty pretty sluggish but uh, you know it's Photoshop you know it's your own PC you can experiment uh, as many times you want without uh, sacrificing what you're doing because Back in the day, I would used to draw different iterations of the same thing over and over until I got what I want. And uh, as I said um, in the previous video, I I will try to you know uh, go 
from my archive here and uh, maybe show in a video of what old drawings I had and what I was working on uh, and this I think it's uh, Thursday I'm not really sure but yeah Thursday I was pretty tired and I decided okay I'm, I'm just gonna start off the drawing session with uh, a simple you know a uh, girl drawing obviously and she turned out to be a fox again uh, basically this was a warm-up I did pretty simple I, I thought about it well maybe maybe I should color it but then no 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 because it was just a warm-up because after this I'm, I'm going to start finally working on uh, a character that's involved in the comic I'm doing at the moment so that was basically the goal and as you can see this week wasn't like really concentrated on the current project I'm working on right now and uh, what uh, I have to say about this is that uh, well for me you know if I don't work on the current project, it's not really a big deal. Uh, of course, I'm obviously delaying what I want to do, and uh, then when the inspiration, you know, floods my floods my mind again, you know, I'm not gonna be able to do everything in my head. But uh, when I don't really have ideas for one thing, I kind of go and do things for another thing. And yeah, this is when I start the the character I did. Uh, I took reference from an older sketch, and as you can see, that was actually built on uh, that uh, character template I I had. I did that, I think, three years ago. I don't really remember. So yeah, this is a, a, a another villain. From uh, from the comic, he's gonna be one of the bad guys, and it basically, again, you know, I wanted him to have like a pre square head, and I think the hair kind of does doesn't does it justice with the square head, and the rest of the construction is pretty simple. There's not no particular exaggerated proportions, although. With the shadows, I did really want it to go pretty wide because I wanted uh, him to be very um, imposing. He's uh, gonna be dressed in a uniform, as you can see at the end. And yeah, this is when I actually start doing the uniform and everything, and uh, that didn't really make many changes to the old design. I think I only added the belt. Uh, actually, no, actually I changed the belt, how it looked, in the beginning it was um, just a simple, you know, leather belt, but uh, it turned out to be, you know, some metallic thing made out of little segments, and uh, he has another leather belt that goes uh, diagonally over his chest. Um, I'm still thinking I'm to do, you know, because he has the collar, but the collar, you know, inside it's it, it's fur. So I'm still thinking of how the hell I'm gonna do that and not make it feel as it is, uh, you know, the same material as the rest. Of course, the collar is different. And one other thing to mention is the uh, I added a little, uh, a little emblem on uh, on the side of his uh, chest and uh, I thought about actually drawing that in detail but uh, I forgot so I gotta kinda turn back uh, for that and here I'm basically drawing another iteration where he has his cape because uh, originally he had a cape and he has a uh, a, uh, a hat also and yeah uh, this is when I apply the colors and uh, as you're gonna see the green 
it's not going to remain the same. Uh, I had a pretty good idea of what colors I was going to use. Because I was kind of thinking about doing this character since Monday. And this being Thursday when I'm doing it, I had about four days to actually think. Okay, how, how am I going to finalize this guy? Because he's been in the works for, well, some time now. So, yeah. Uh, the the skin color, I'm not super happy with it, but I didn't want it a pale, much more pale color Because uh, where he's coming from, you know, he's from a very cold region. They don't really have like so much uh, uh, sun exposure, so uh, You know He doesn't really have a tan And I actually had to do another drawing, I actually forgot about this. And this is, uh, oh, this is still for the comic, actually. And, uh, trying to think about how can, how can I, uh, uh, how can I put it, uh, oh man, I'm forgetting my words. Uh, rethink a race of aliens that I originally planned and as of now I'm kind of you know doing my uh, you know different alien species just changing the shape of the year but here I thought okay let's go a little further and um, I had the some 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 things on the skin you know some little uh, patches of uh, different you know maybe it's harder skin over there or there's like a carapace or whatever I don't really know yet and then I'd say okay I'm just gonna, I'm gonna play with color as well and I'm gonna add the pattern to the skin it's not just gonna be those those splashes or there's gonna be some some lines and specific spots and uh, uh, yeah for the eyes you know I decide okay it's not just gonna the entire eye is gonna be one one color and for the rest, it's, you know, it's a pretty simple one, just uh, simple clothes, nothing too special. And uh, I think here we're coming up to an end. So, uh, I really like the hair here. It's something new that I tried, haven't tried before. Well, going a little wacky with the shapes and make it more fluid, which is, which is nice. So, yeah, see you, see you in the next... Uh, video